Naima Grover is suing Lonnie Perkins. Uh, the relationship between a mother and a daughter, and I assume this is your mom? Yes, that's my mother. Is one of the most important relationships in our society. I, mean, I have a daughter and I, of course, have a mom and, uh, you know, these are the people who are closest to me. And it really saddens me to see this problem where, you know, both you and your mother are estranged. Basically, uh, you both say over the defendant, Lonnie Perkins. Now, you say that your mom is flushing the relationship that you two have down the toilet. Uh, for the defendant, uh, a man that you accuse of being both an alcoholic and a gambling addict. And you say that since your mother began dating the defendant, that uh, she has not only become homeless, but you two are basically not even talking. Now, you acknowledge, Lonnie, that there is tension between um, your girlfriend and uh, the plaintiff, her daughter, but you say the whole thing is unnecessary. Uh, and you also say that uh, Naima ought to become accustomed to you because you see yourself as uh, being relatively permanent and you're not going anywhere and you're sticking with her mother. Is that correct? That's correct. All right. Now. You are the mom. Uh, your name, please? Penny. Penny. All right, Penny. Are you willing to risk losing your relationship with uh, your daughter for a man that she accuses of being both a gambling addict and an alcoholic? No, Your Honor, I'm not willing to risk it. I think things can be worked out. Why is your daughter so angry about your relationship with Lonnie? Well, I believe that she believes that I have helped him... Um, make bad decisions with uh, a business transaction between him and her. Ah, is this about the car? Yes. All right. Now you say in 2009 your mom was evicted and that you then let her and her boyfriend move in with you. Yes. Are you working at the time, Lonnie? At the time I was working, but I got fired. Were you working at the time, Lonnie? I was working, yes, Your Honor. Okay, and how long after you moved in were you fired? Uh, in March. When did you move in? I moved in in November. November. Why were you evicted that you had to move in with your girlfriend's daughter? Because my fiance had to move from the place that she was staying at. Penny I was staying, had to move? P Penny had the to move. The papers say that she was evicted. Yeah. She Why? You know, in she... October 2009, my mom was evicted from her home, so she asked if she and Lonnie could live with me. Mm -hmm. I wanted my mom to know I was there for her, so I let them move in. I wanted to give him a chance, and I tried to get him a job. That's not, Your Honor, she's lying. Huh? Are you she's serious? You are lying. Your Honor. That first is not all, true. Keep your voice, voice down. Can I keep speak, your, your voice down. No, you no, can't she's speak. suing you. Go um, ahead. Your Honor, okay, she was put out because she was having financial trouble, and his bum self did not get up and try to get a job to help her, so I let him use my car. I did his resume for him. Later, after she was evicted, though, they, she was already evicted, and they were Ooh. already getting ready to move in with me. Ooh. Calm down, Lonnie. Yes. <laughs> he says, um, Emma, which is what he called me, even though my name is Naima, he called Emma, um, you know, since you, you got this you extra car. tell him your daughter's name is Naima? All the time. Why you call her Emma? That's a, that's a little nickname we got. She called me Leroy Larry. Now, that ain't my name. Leroy ain't my Can name, Can I ask you a question? Lonnie, why didn't you get your own place? What are you doing living with her? You two are like oil and water. Because we had a financial problem, Your Honor. All right. You had a financial problem. Yes, ma'am. All right. Apparently, so, he's always had a financial problem. All right. Tell me about... <laughs> Can I say something, Your Honor? No, not yet. All right. This is about a car. Yes. So, you, you say that you ended up what? With well, I ended up, I ended up um, letting them use the car, but I, I told them if they want to take over the nose and pay for everything associated with the car, they would what have to... What kind of car is it's this? It's a 2002 Lincoln Town car. Okay. okay, 2002 Lincoln Town car, you move in and you are going to take over the note? That is not true. She bought that car for her, her boyfriend. That car was for her boyfriend first. Her boyfriend wouldn't pay the note on it. He wouldn't get insurance for the car. She snatched it back from him. She was stuck with it because Chase didn't want the car no more. Okay, good. So, at some point, do you say, Emma, I'll take the car? I didn't say it like that, Your Honor. Okay, now. Oh, dear. Quote, I have never burdened Naima with anything. She needs to know her place. That's yeah, right, Your This is your Honor. statement. That's right. Okay. She's I love it when a man says that to a woman. 
She goes shopping instead of paying her bills. For one. You hear me on? She bad designer shoes. Look at what she got on. Look at her. And she living a Hollywood lifestyle that she can't afford. And you're living with her because you can't afford your own place. Okay. You're right. You're right. All right. Now, um, th this car, at some point, it goes back to her, I assume? Yes, ma'am. Why is that? Because I got tired of her nagging at me about the car. The car had insurance and everything. I had an accident. It wasn't my fault, y'all. Oh, you had an accident? I didn't, but somebody hit me. <laughs> were you in the car? Yes, ma'am. Then you were part of the accident. Yes, ma'am. OK. Yes, ma'am. All right. Oh, my God. What am I looking at? Is this the car? This yes. is the car. Yes, yes. ma'am. Right? Where's the accident? Uh, in the front of the bumper. The, the fender was cracked how, how did in this the light. On the passenger side. I, I was going it. down 79th. You know where White Castle is, all them lights and stuff? Oh, sure I do. It's New Year's Eve, And Yana. you're celebrating. And I was celebrating. And you don't have a drinking problem going out to party. I had 30 minutes to dress, Yana. 30, 30 minutes. minutes. The accident spooked me, and I went home. I said, I'm not going out. And you're not celebrating. I celebrated by myself. Yes, where was yes, she? She wasn't there. Where, what? I toasted to myself, Yana. Where, where were you? A, a son's house. Why weren't you living with his son? Because they didn't want me there. Oh. Uh, oh. The issue for the court is whether or not you owe her for the damage to the car, $858, for unpaid car payments, and for tickets. Tell me about the tickets. Okay. So pretty much when he first had the car, um, he got a ticket. He got the car in November, he had a ticket in November for a red light violation, meaning he ran a light. Wow. And he promised me he Not would true. pay that, which he didn't pay. Wow. And then um, he ended up getting some parking tickets that he left in the glove compartment when he returned my car to me a day after I asked for it back. He didn't even say anything about those tickets. They were in the glove compartment. And then just and a couple of And can you prove that those tickets were gotten during the time during the that time he was he making had, payments yes, on I the can. car? If she can prove to the court that those tickets were gotten at the time that you were in possession of this lovely vehicle, yes, then I can only assume that you're the one who got the tickets, unless you reported the car stolen and said that someone else had stolen in the car and therefore is responsible for the tickets. Clearly, there are lots of tickets here. Can I speak, Your Honor? Yes, you can. In behalf of them tickets? Or yourself. Or myself. Thank you, Your Honor. Yes. Now, I admit the one ticket for $100, but I'm not, uh, I'm not admitting the rest of them tickets that she claimed I did. Oh, my Penny, God. Penny, what are we going to do with your relationship with your daughter? I would like our relationship to be fixed. Uh, I miss my daughter. Um, that's my baby and always will be. I don't want the problem with the car and everything that came along with the car and my fiance to destroy that. I mean, it's very strained, but I don't want it destroyed. Yet, I want my daughter to accept the fact that okay. this is the man that's gonna be in my life. All right. And what I'm you, gonna be your you, stepfather. No, you be quiet. <laughs> Whether you like it or not. You be quiet. Yes, ma'am. Why should your daughter have to pay for this? This isn't about your picking one over the other. Yes. It's about the truth. Right. It's about the facts. Yes. It's not about who you love more. Who right. do you love more? I am right. Yes, you're right. Lonnie. Ma'am. Look at me. Yes, ma'am. All right. You cannot interfere with the relationship between a mother and daughter. And you know what that means? You need to pipe down now and then. You need to hold it in. You love this woman? Yes, ma'am. All right. I believe that you do. Ooh. <laughs> All right, Lonnie, you want a happy woman? Yes, ma'am. You know what it's like not to have a happy woman. Ooh. You've lived long enough. Yes, ma'am. Stay out of her relationship with her daughter. It's not up to you to talk about what she wears, what she does, whether you like her or don't like her. She is irrelevant to you in every way, shape, and form. Stay out of it. That's just a word of advice, all right? I've been around the block a few times. Stay out of it. You'll have a happier woman, and you won't have any trauma in your life, okay? Can I say something, you want? Again? Just one thing. Naima, you need to respect me more. Oh, my God. This isn't a 
about respecting you. But she disrespect me, Your Honor. Why? You Being disrespected her, her. You let me oh tell God. you something. You disrespected her by creating this tension with her mother. You disrespected her because you moved into her apartment and you took this car and didn't pay on it. That's you right. disrespected her by getting tickets and not paying for them. Don't talk to me about respect and don't ever talk about a woman knowing her place when you got a woman judge in front of you. All right? Verdict for the plaintiff, $2,115, so ordered.